Hi everyone, welcome back. Storm here. My cat Maui here. I'm about to watch more Hell of a Boss. I'm on episode six and episode seven today, back to back. Maui is my ragamuffin cat. He's such a good boy. And he used to come and hang out during reactions all the time, but it's been a little while since he's been up here, right? Because I usually do reactions at my mom's house. We have a studio there as well. So when I react with mom and Kim, I'm not home. And yeah, so we have a lot of fun together and I'm enjoying this show. I am so excited that Norman Reedus is voicing a character. Stryker escaped and Stolas's wife put a hit on Blitz. So it's not good. And it seems like Stolas is oblivious to it in Octavia because she had her headphones on listening to music and he didn't know what was going on in that conversation, I guess. I, I don't think he really knows about the hit, but it was at the same table. And yeah, so let's get into this episode. They must use this dark magic to cross over into our world. Mm. They seem to be killing specifically targeted people. What? Why? Humans? They always attack at random. Like men in black or something? Over the country. But There's for demons? There's no way to predict where they'll show up next. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, we can't be seen. <sighs> Too late. Yeah, was it a condom? Oh, it's gonna be so gross. <gasps> he protected him. Oh. Uh oh. All right. Well, they know what they're up against. I think they've been hunting you for a while. Colors. Open it until <laughs> the fucking oh jeez, following instructions. Listening to daddy. Oh cool. <laughs> the cool transition. They are here. You're so much bigger. It smells like they went this way. No, the pants won't have the right <laughs> And make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. I hate that. If you can't handle that, I'll have the venti traditional misto. Please use soy milk. <laughs> Two blonde shots, avocado, and ristretto. I'd also love three vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after. Wow, they have options in hell. A lot. Virginia's coffee. Wow. Or they get it on Earth. Chills just there, Mox. Congrats. If we have to, we are willing to resort to torture methods to get answers out of you nasty hell beasts. Oh my god, they all have axes. And swords. Whoa. <laughs> oh, killing more humans, killing the agency. Ew. They're filling this room with something. Fuck. What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth telling serum. Yeah, he just knows. That's what it is. Well, uh, just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Uh oh. That, uh, Feel you bad. Like that musical I recommended to you. I lied. I loved halfway through. You, you said you loved it. It was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cat. Oh, oh man. Oh, that worked. He's sending me the opera or something. Chicken no. balls. What? How could this be? I've never tried acid shrooms or DMT. It's a bad trip. Boy, Gavalt. Of course, Blitz, this would be your fault. My lungs are full of honesty. Why wow, the animation so fluid right here? Me that you won't judge. Yes, Not trying to divulge too much, but I'm in too deep. So first of all, fuck you! This is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay, because if you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. <laughs> I love this animation. Oh, 
<gasps> oh, heaven. But why heaven? Is it something good? Ooh. He feels cool. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ew. <laughs> Heart tattoos are broken. <laughs> that was nice. My opinion is correct, but mm -hmm. just keep doing a good job. Okay? You shoot and kill good, you escape things easy, you can be strategic and cold blooded when you need to, and don't expect any more compliments. I'm maxed out. Thank you, sir. You know my name. Use it. Thanks, Blitz. <laughs> nice. Not yes, sir. <laughs> Not all by yourself. That hurt ears. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, you get the whole team together, so. <laughs> How they can murder all these- Ooh. Yeah, Luna! Wow, the animation's so different, it's- Oh my god, that's so cool! Wow, oh, that's so sick though, but wow! The perspective is crazy. Wow, the animators had a lot of fun this episode. Impressive, disgusting. <laughs> oh, he's not. Uh, it's flailing in the background. Ew. Oh, nice dagger. <laughs> oh, friendship. <laughs> oh, I look at growling. Ew, they're teeth. We all care about each other. Ooh, that's cool. Wow. Holy crap, it almost feels like a different show. Who else is there? What? Who's that? Ooh, who is that? Is that Stolas? What? An upgrade! This is our friends and Stolas! <gasps> who knew? Oh, he's possessing her! Ew! <gasps> oh, God! Oh, he's going to be so sick. He's going to be way stronger. Ooh. Whoa. I was hoping we'd see something. I didn't know it was going to be like this. Oh, God. It's feathers. 
<laughs> He's gonna love it. The worst kind. Oh my god! What the hell? Whoa! I'm impressed. What gave me chills? <laughs> Respect. Stolen. Wait, wait, well, hold on. How did you know that we needed help? I have my ways, darling. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine, Stolas. Mm, good. How the fuck <gasps> did you get caught by humans? Are you little creatures not being careful up here? You know, if you get in trouble, I get in trouble. We don't want that. Yeah, how'd he get there without the book? Yeah, you can unclench your bird voice, Dolores. It's not gonna happen again. <laughs> your bird Luckily voice. for you, most don't believe the word of the demon-obsessed lunatics. They are seen as coops. But what about all the killings? Coops. Such a silly word. Now, let us all return. Yes, please. I'd like to get back to the correct hellhole as soon as possible. <laughs> the safer one. <laughs> All of them in trouble. I mean, I've been enjoying this show, but this is a step up from what I've seen so far. Like, what just happened? I mean, it looks like the same. You know, you have Vivian. It looks like you have uh, a lot of the same people working on this show, but the writing changed. I mean, we hear a lot of jokes. Um, I've been liking the character development so far, but this just, like, pushed forward where we see a lot more emotions with the characters, like, them fighting, and the animation was top-notch. I mean, again, it was good before, but, like, all these, like, zoom-in, zoom-out, fishbowl lens type effects, and, um, just real extreme action scenes, and, um... Characters asking, like Blitz asking Millie, hey, you want some water? And uh, let me show you this, like showing off for each other, like interacting in a way, showing that they're family friends, that they care about each other's well being and want to show off and have fun with each other. And then Blitz and Moxie's um, whole like delusional exchange, you know, when they were on the truth serum, um, you know, they are really good friends and they really do care for each other. They complain a lot together, you know, um, Blitz makes fun of. Uh, Moxie a lot, but they truly care for each other and they had hurt feelings when the truth came out about certain things because they like to be nice to each other and like a lot of us, you know, we don't want to lie. <laughs> it's a horrible mistake, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to go into episode seven and then I will discuss both episodes afterwards, but that was really good. I really enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> the notes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you have really nice eyes, Daddy. Nope. <laughs> you fucking prude! <laughs> God, the animation for a moment looked like Ryan Stimpy. Ah, uh, yep, there still is. He was terrifying last episode. Uh, she busy tonight? Um, oh. why do you ask? I was wondering if you want to come with me to a club tonight. <gasps> Asking me out? Asking me on a date, Let's see. Uh, I, yes, I suppose that is what's happening. How fast can you get down to lust? I can be ready in 20. All right, fantastic. See you soon. I'll see you, Blitzy. Oh, I actually like so <laughs> Oh, God, he's so strong and Come evil on, and scary. And he's on. so head over heels for Blitz. I'm here. Wow. That's 
That's a bit overkill, don't you think? <laughs> no, it's him. Well, well, I, I just want to look a little nicer for you. This is our first real date, after all. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess this is, huh? Aw, uh, Mr. Harper still is because Briss isn't into him. Ahem. Do we have a problem? <gasps> we scared of him. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, apologies, your house. Uh, please, go right in. Wow. He's using him. Well, which yeah, I whatever. knew, but that's sad. <laughs> it really that's hurt his feelings. Me. Why not? So, let's. How was your day? Huh? Oh, uh, good. I guess we killed a bunch of beardos. That sounds fun. He's so nervous. How did you kill them? How? I, I mean, there was a lot of them, so I don't know, bullets? Right. <laughs> right. So, what made you decide to ask me out after all this time? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Oh, he's back. He's there, too. No one else likes it. He's just so in love. Oh, they're gonna be mean. Oh, look! Special! Special. Good animation again. Oh, meanies. Oh, he's even being so mean. Uh-oh. Oh, it's not the same guy. Okay, I was going to say, he sounded so different. Design is freaky. Oh, 
Holy crap. This turned fast. <laughs> I was waiting for her to show up. I was. Oh, he still gets to sing it. Us. I love us just the way we are. Don't have to pretend oh. to like to oh, yeah. <laughs> I've always got you woke to laugh at my stupid jokes. I'll never take you for granted. I'll always keep my best. Aww, and if you can Cause I love you. Cause oh, I look, they love each other too. <laughs> but still, this I don't know. Oh, how cute! Now he's gonna doubt their relationship. If that's what you can call it. You know what? This was a mistake. All right, let's just let's just leave. Oh, right. Of course. I am surprised he still reached out to him. Oh, see, after all that bad talk, he still cares. He didn't care about that. Oh, ain't that just such a happy display? It sickens me. Get the fuck out. <laughs> You're lucky that's it. I have some more wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could. I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm oh. really just... I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk. Oh. Watch a movie or... Maybe cuddle. Solace, don't act like what we have is anything but you wanting me to fuck you, okay? You make that really clear all the time. But I just, I, I can't do it tonight, okay? Oh, no, he really cares for you. <laughs> okay. Good night, Blitz. Oh, uh, I didn't really think I'd really like Solace that much. I feel so bad for him. I love his cape. Different portal. <laughs> Screaming. Oh, you had a picture. Oh, he has a picture of herself. Oh, and they were buddies too. <gasps> oh. Hi. Oh wow. I feel so bad. I love the emotions. You guys were so right. I didn't think it was gonna be that emotional. It got me all teary-eyed and stuff, and the music too. Oh, so I kind of wonder because Blitz has his guard up and he comes off as a jokester and he's like super obnoxious and stuff and um, you know the last couple episodes I know he cares for his friends but we saw more of that and you know he was very protective like he loves Luna that's his daughter but he cares for his friends a lot too he has insecurities like in the first episode you know him and Moxie with the truth serum, they had hurt feelings, and you know the truth that was coming out, it was because they were trying to be nice to each other before, like you would with a friend, you want to be truthful, but sometimes like, oh, that dress looks beautiful, you don't want to hurt people's feelings, you know? So, um, and you can see how protective he is too, like when they were in that agency, all the agents were surrounding them, Blitz was in the front, and he like kind of puts his arms out in a protective way to protect everyone behind him, all his friends. And uh, yeah, so here, you know, he has a financial transaction with Stolas, a sexual one, and it's strictly that, not for Stolas, but I kind of wonder, because Blitz has such a guard up, that he really does have feelings for Stolas. Now that is interesting to me, because 
I mean, I'm really enjoying this show, but I really love this level of emotions. I mean, I feel so bad for Stolas, and now he keeps touching my sleeve. He's like, Mommy, you're talking too loud. I'm just trying to sleep here. I love you too. He's such a good boy. He's my little sweet boy. So, um, yeah, like, I really enjoyed this so much and I feel so bad so Blitz just saw um, a picture it looked like maybe of his mom um, there was another child in the picture but I was looking at Blitz and then the person behind him so um, I'd have to watch again to see who else was in that photo and of course he had awesome photos of him and um, his best friend Moxie and Millie um, and even of Stolas of them together so it seems like like why would you keep that just a humor stolas I doubt it it seems like he might have feelings for him and I really felt that this episode um going to a different ring of hell going to lust this time I mean it makes sense it would be super sexual and being at this club that is all about literally lust but Moxie and Millie are just so freaking adorable and they killed it haha <laughs> you know like it's about lust not love there and um they still you know, we're able to sing their song or Moxie to sing to Millie and Millie um, helping him do that as well um, was very nice. And accidents happening where the person in charge of the stage or whatever was like yawning and hit the lever so they can go up high on that contraption and sing their song. Like it was sweet. And the last two episodes as well, we had two longer songs. So the animation feels a bit different. I mean, there's some areas where it is the same as it's been, but um, it definitely got better. And I mean that in a good way, because before it was really nice, but it's even more fluid. I don't know if they got more animators to work on this or not, but um, when there's a lot of emotions involved, I feel like having more animation feels more real. And during the songs, especially like the tripping song that they had last episode with Moxie singing, going up the stairs, like that was incredibly done. And then with this one with uh, Moxie on stage singing and then that clown guy from Lululand singing and um, extremely fluid. And that other guy, I thought he was uh, Vestual, Vestual, I think his name is from um, Has Been Hotel and it wasn't him. Like I saw the eyes and the voice for a moment did sound like him to me, but it's a different character. The, the design is actually quite different and it seemed like he even cared for that clown guy from Lululand because um, they had a moment too when he thought he was hurt on stage. So I like all these different connections. I wish you could see Maui's face. He's so cute right now looking at me. He's like, I'm just trying to sleep and you're so loud, mommy. You're so loud. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I really can't wait to watch more. My heart breaks for Stolas. And a huge thing I want to mention is how freaking terrifying is Stolas hair everywhere. Fur, fur, sorry. Um, but I was so floored on how terrifying he is. Holy crap. Like, when did I first notice it was him? Was it just the voice? I can't remember. But who else can make it to earth without the book i mean he doesn't need the book to travel and people are terrified of him so did blitz know how terrifying he was in the past i mean he knew he was a prince from royalty um what kind of reputation did he really have because we didn't see a whole lot of interaction with stolas besides like with with the public besides people saying oh he's royalty you know um so holy crap like i was floored on how terrifying he was because i thought he'd have some special abilities that were powerful but i didn't think he could go full-on demonic like possession and you know that that bird creature he turned into i mean i know he's an owl but he turned into that shadowy bird creature that was like distorted and elongated and you know completely possessed that woman that human very scary the way he was revealed in that it was just very very impressive I, I had chills so um holy crap and then he has this real soft side when it comes to blitz and his daughter and wife are away he still has a decent relationship with his daughter which is good so he's not completely alone like you know blitz is worried about being alone stolas like he's getting mocked about being going to be alone because he's going to get a divorce and does he even know that his wife put a hit on blitz um yeah so i want to know more i'm so sad i just want to jump right into it now 
so next time guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon have a great day please subscribe bye